Restorative Treatment of the Malpositioned Dentition is presented by Dr. Antonio Mancuso and is supported by SICAN, makers and distributors of high-performance products for dental professionals. Okay, Jerry, I always like to take our stump shade uh, prior to uh, taking our impressions so that the enamel doesn't uh, uh, dehydrate on us. Okay, Jerry, you're an ST9. So we can take ST9, just write that down somewhere. Perfect. We're using our traditional polyvinyl siloxane, and this happens to be Curse Take One. And this is a heavy body, and then we use a light wash of this. Okay, so we're going to start taking our impression, start with the drying of the dentition. Perfect, two rolls. Okay, Jerry, I'm gonna ask you to just gently bite down on that. Then I'll take these from you. Wonderful, and Jackie, I'll give you those. And Jerry, just gonna ask you to stay biting comfortably like that. Our time has elapsed and I will be able to take our tray out from Jerry, take these rolls out. Jerry, actually close down a wee bit, bud. There you go, perfect, excellent. Excellent, we inspect our margins. And we see that we've been taking all of our margins. Everything looks very good. We're ready to take our bite registration. Okay. So I'm just going to position Jerry in a position where we're about same level. And this is the symmetry facial plane relator that we'll be utilizing to uh, get a, uh, a clusal plane that will be uh, flush with the horizon. So I'm just going to try it in first and bite down on your back teeth, Jerry. Good. I'm going to align it and go th basically through a dry run prior to me inserting the actual bite registration material. So Jerry, I'm going to be just putting some material over your teeth. I'm going to have you bite down just like you did now on mm -hmm. your back teeth and then I'm going to position this back in. Okay, you got a few tips ready? Okay, Jerry, bite down your back teeth for me. Good, and hold it like that. I just get uh, the bites, the bite uh, aspects of the symmetry facial plane relator to just grab into it so it doesn't fall out. And then I'll grab one corner of the mouth with a new tip here. And we're just going to make sure we have our midline on. We step back and we make sure that the incisal plane is uh, flush with the horizon. And we're happy with that. We'll let that set for approximately a one minute duration. Okay, Jared, just going to take this out and open for me. Thank you. Now that we're finished with our record taking, we're going to use a desensitizer on our teeth prior to initiating our temporization technique. For our desensitizer, we have a super seal, a glutaraldehyde based solution that will help in minimizing post-operative sensitivity. 
and I typically like to have my assistant, in this case Jackie, do the left side while I coat copiously the right side. Okay, Jared, I'm going to ask you to stay open, okay, bud? Mm-hmm. Good. And now we have our putty index of our preoperative wax up that was created from the initial study model. And the uh, putty index will be used to fabricate the temporization. We also use a bisacryl uh, methacrylate as our temporization material. Good, and we could time that. And I like to typically leave this in for approximately three minutes so that it's nice and hard. And the technique will involve the utilization of mechanical retention via the interproximal reductions that we've created in our preparation design so that it doesn't have to be chemically adhesed uh, on later on. When we remove the uh, putty index, the temporization ideally should be remaining intraorally. Okay, our time has elapsed, and now we're just going to tease off the putty matrix. Thank you. And there's our temporization. And all we have to do now is trim the excess prior to t us taking our final alginate impressions. Okay, Jer, just gonna remove all that excess around those, okay? After you've made the gross reductions of the uh, excess bisacryl methacrylate, if there's any deficiencies, I like to use a Luxaflow. And I just go around the perimeter wherever there's any marginal discrepancies. Little air voids. And we'll cure that. So prior to doing our final polishing of our restorations, we look at the occlusal aspect of it, make sure that uh, the occlusion has been uh, satisfied. And paper, please. Okay, Jerry, bite down for me. Tap, tap, tap. That's it, good. And do that again. And now I want you to bite down your back teeth. There you go, good, and open. Paper again. Good, do that again, Jerry. Bite down, squeeze, and again, and then grind your teeth. Perfect, and open. And do that again, bite down, squeeze, and then squeeze again, and then grind side to side. Good. And we're just going to go around, finish our gingival margins, polish, and then we'll be done, Jerry.
I always recommend to take the extra time and effort to clear out the uh, excess composite or bisacryl methacrylate in this case uh, around the gingival margin specifically and approximately where the papilla is so that it doesn't become edematous and then make your insertion appointment that much more difficult with hemorrhagic tissue. And we'll go through the various degrada gradations of uh, coarseness of the, the discs one to the next so that we get a, a very nice, highly polished restorative uh, temporization. And you have your glaze there at all. Just gonna finish my anatomy, my incisal embrasures in particular. And that was just a diamond impregnated polishing paste that we used to give our final luster prior to our uh, glazing of the uh, restorations. And before we finalize everything, I'd like to finish the polishing and uh, temporization technique with using a, a glaze to give it a little bit more of a natural appearance. Just stay like that, Jerry. And again, just another inspection of the occlusion, make sure that we're not high anywhere. And Jerry, how does that feel? Great. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just cotton roll to clean off the articulating marks on the lower dentition. And if we can get a close up of the temporizations. Now, because Jerry is anesthetized, it will be very difficult for him to show the temporary. So I'm just going to help the visual inspection by just teasing up his upper lip. And turn just a wee bit this way, Jerry. There we go. And pretty chin way up so we can see if we can get the occlusal view of that. There we go. And that really nicely shows our first objective in treating the uh, malpositioned dentition restoratively, and that is proper arch form. And you can see we were able to achieve that quite nicely for Jerry. Jerry, you're all done for today. How you feel? Great. 
And Jackie's just going to take a couple moments, give you your post-operative instructions, and she's going to take some uh, prints of your final temporaries we send uh, to, off to the lab. And also, she's also going to take a secondary print of your lower teeth that we also need as well. All right? Very good. All right. Did a great job today, Jerry. Thanks a lot. All right. Can't wait for the finals. <laughs> See, are, these, bad, eh? are these the finals? No, not too bad. <laughs> Very nice. That. I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah. But you can see how really, really twisted and crooked your teeth were, and we yes. were able to give you a, almost like an instant braces uh, result. Yeah. Just by uh, the way we prepared the teeth for you today. Very nice.